in it's, it's you know, very, and it's like animated and it moves around. It's like there there's little lamps and chandeliers like that in a lot of maps that yeah. I never even notice unless you see them on the loading screen. Right. You know, there's one on uh, on on Blood Covenant, right? Right over by that big awning by the by the railgun. You come mm -hmm. back around the banana and up right. by the by the shield there. If you look yep. straight up, there's a big chandelier. You never even notice it. Yeah. Interior design. Yeah. Created by. Yeah. I've I've got close to a thousand, a thousand hours of Quake <laughs> Champions. I just noticed it for the first time maybe yeah. three weeks ago. All right. Here we go. We're just getting started on uh, Sron. He just picked up Tribal. He's over at uh, Rocket now, getting ready to our, yeah, that our, early reach our first pop match. Bus driver, the yeah. dual wield LGs here, taking control over the rocket launcher spawn. Gonna back off, but does manage to stay alive with his life. Blitz there, getting some free damage off that machine gun. Gonna have a small battle coming up over Mega Health, and still we have play to improve, keeping a little bit of control here. But Maestro making their way back in. Yeah, right. Remember, no rails, so you're you're gonna see a lot of machine gun action on this map. Um, especially if you're trying to keep your distance from that LG, that dual wheel. Yeah, Maestro here, another battle coming out over the rocket launcher. Some big damage coming out onto play to improve. Maestro managing to clean this off without too much contest. We're tied back at 3-3. Three to three. Major items coming back about 15 seconds here. We'll see who's positioning lead us. All right, Silence Up takes down Liss with that LG. But they're just trading frags. It's very close, very early on. So now they'll... Yeah, Maestro Pick up their yeah. respective uh, items or yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, play to improve, grabbing their heavy armor. Still, those timers are pretty much synced. So you're going to see teams right now just trying to Chunky establish rocket. some kind of control. It's big fights coming out from Zeron here right over top of the rocket launcher. And man, barely managing to survive, does lose his teammate in the process. We're going to see here if they can manage to grab this heavy armor without getting steamrolled. Here's Zeron trying to maybe get the steal on Mega if he can or at least getting an angle on play to improve before they run them over a heavy armor. But right. There Maestro we go. Finally smart. see the peeker, but spell. just couldn't get it going. Yeah, grabbing their major item here. Ron, now over to Bus Driver here. Getting some high advantage over top of Maestro. Picking up some frags here. They're starting to slowly pull away step by step, and we're only eight seconds away from our first squad damage of the map. Bus Driver will be able to get the pick on silence. He is. He's going to try and zone him out here, though. He's still got the dual wield. He's very low. We got some zoning here, and again, there we go. That is an easy pickup from play to improve. We're going to see here, can we get a nice quad run coming up here from Lifts? Going to be running through the heavy arm here, trying to pick up any kills that he can. Maestro's doing a great job of running away, saturating that ball with nails, getting whatever free damage they can manage, but mm -hmm. they're going to end up dropping at least a couple of frags here. Only a few moments left on that quad. Managed to pick up two, can we convert a third? He's going to go after him. He wants to milk every second he can out of this quad. And it's out, but he's still still got him on the ropes here and takes him down with ease. Now we have play to improve, taking control of that heavy armor. They have been in control of Mega throughout the beginning of this match here, switching it over a little bit. I believe that Maestro did manage to steal that Mega off from the side there. So we just have a small little switch in terms of map control here, but play to improve, controlling all these major areas right now. Maestro trying to take a fight wow. here one-on-one, -on -one, does not have support of his, of his Strog and does not manage to make, take that free kill instead of trading one for one. All right, Zeron's so really weak, yep. He just couldn't find the stack. He was waiting for that heavy and I guess maybe sort of sacrificed himself so that they, his teammate could pick it up. 20 seconds to our next Trade. couple of power-ups here. We're just gonna have some Small bits of damage coming across from both teams. Heavy machine gun priority. Tribolt priority with some rock spam rockets as well, spam nails. Just trying to get any free damage they can, just try to maintain some position. We have a small fight breaking out over LG here. Can Silence pick it off? And he can. Bus driver falls with only one second left to some power-ups here. But play to improve in position and grab that heavy, and they get it for free. All right, Mega's being picked up now. Uh, Silence up grabbing the LG and looking to maybe establish a good position with the next power there up, the go. protection up. coming up. Um, and maybe, you know, choosing to leave. Uh, well, I was going to say leave him weak so, yep. so that he can't contest, but now we're looking at full stacks and the dual wield melting them away cleanly. Yeah, Silence with the perfect positioning there. That's yeah. an easy grab. Very, very well done. This is how they're going to start to claw their way back into the game. We got Ron here pushing as much as he can with these rocket jumps, trying to get in on the enemy team, just pushing whatever advantage he can muster out of his protection. All right, he's going with that super shotgun. I really like the super shotgun on this map. I think it does a really good job of um, doing damage in those small hallways. Um, it's just such a very powerful weapon, especially... Yeah, I personally love it for quad, but on prot it 
you know, if you get the you get the frag, you get the job done. Yeah, and notice how during that protection, bus driver and lifts were completely separated on opposite sides of the teams, and one of them, I believe it was lifts, was actually just standing really still on the corner, just trying to run away right. from that protection, doing everything they can. If they can't get frags, stop dying. That's like the number one thing. If you're trying to get better, you're trying to improve your quick. If you can't get a kill, don't die. Yeah, stop feeding, <laughs> stop feeding, cool down, relax, right. grab a soda. <laughs> Try to do anything you can to get back into that match. And that's like what they're doing. And they managed to just push away now. that advantage. And now Maestro fighting. Now they're battling their way back to Trying to force the teleport. Fight. Hey, Ooh, fade away rocket. rocket. Perfect timing. Personal favorite. But Saran getting caught out just like he managed to catch someone out. Trading one for one yet again. Playing to improve. <laughs> Only up by one exactly. frag. Alright, looks like we had a double dual wield there. Yep. Alright, so now that we've we've got the lead flipped and silent step on that heavy, so he's he's ready to, to get back in this and so hopefully take a, a little bit larger of a lead, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. He's yeah. now got that mega He's got timing on both items, so he'll be communicating that to uh, his teammate. Yeah, Silent Step was able to grab both of them here, so Maestro is in control of those timings. However, Play to Improve did see that Mega get picked up. It should have heard it. They should know the timing. They can still contest that on the next but a lot of damage is up and instantly lost. Going in favor of Play to Improve, this is not what Maestro wants to see right now. All right, so now with that quad damage, Lyft immediately takes back that heavy control. He knows when it's coming, and... He's going to know that the Mega was just taken as well, so he's going to melt that off very, very easily with the quad and yeah. sessing down with that heavy machine gun. Yeah, Mice are doing a pretty good job of staying apart, though. They're not they're not stacking up too much. They're going to end up feeding a couple kills in the quad over and over. Only two frags lost to that quad. Not bad at all. All things considered, that's, that's pretty okay. It was a little dangerous choosing that um, super nail gun right there um, with the quad ending just because he was very close to the wall, and if you're close to a wall, you will do damage to yourself with a super nail gun, so um, kind of an interesting choice thing right there. He was brought, brought himself down to 35 health. We do have Infrasight coming up from lifts in here in just a couple of seconds. We'll be ready for those next couple of power-ups that are just going to be popping, so we will have potentially the ability to sneak one of these out, but they just do have the stacks right now. They're all so weak. Yeah. It's going to be really hard to try to contest these even in a 2v1. They're just both one gap away from dying. Alright, looks like they take, da take down Zeron. They were able to flank him as he came through Teleporter again. It's a very tricky uh, play to sort of force someone through. Especially if there's no there's no totems this time around. But. Yeah, Maestro managing to secure that Mega yet again. Keeping that timing in mind. These items are still pretty close together. If you're managing to grab that heavy armor first, they're going to have to make a mad dash of that Mega. It might it's about behoove them to start trying to move these timings around a little bit so someone can gain a little bit of momentum. So this, this bat, these are just battles back and forth over and over. Very few clear advantages coming off of either team. We do have a 38 to 32 advantage in favor of play to improve here, but still a lot of match to go. Yeah, we'll have to see if, if uh, Maestro can do what they did earlier when they, they picked up uh, Prod and were able to sort of chip away. Um, now we're looking... Yeah, Maestro regaining control, grab that protection. Exactly, and we've got Heavy coming up in three. So now we're, we're looking to see where Zeron can, can travel with this prot. I mean, he's still holding on to that peeker. I haven't seen him use it quite that, that often. Um, you're, more, you're more likely to get uh, frags with quad. Lips um, getting caught out. Just, he's finding you, man. Can't hide at Tribal. So I was, you know, for Bus Driver, I was, I was kind of hoping for a dual wield coming out of Bus Driver there, just waiting on that lift. I was really hoping it's going to dual wield this rocket launch and burn his way through that, uh, that detection. Right, so now, now that they claw their way back, I mean, they're, so they're within two now. Yeah, Maestro Rock. doing a fantastic job of closing that gap, but still not quite getting there, not quite making making the plays they need to make. They're, they're getting closer. They're almost there. They have lots of time left. But, uh, can they manage to secure this in the end? Silence up, making some kills here. Gonna control that rocket launcher, chooses not to grab. He's gonna pick up those vials so he can get that dual wield as back as fast as possible. He's got the LG. Yeah, the dual wield LG. Just too powerful. It does manage to clear off whips and get a nice free fire coming up the teleporter exit here. It's a really dangerous fight for both of those of those uh, BJs. Yeah, he was low on health, but managed to grab that, that heavy Yeah, weapon. Silence managed to grab that item right on time. Does die with it, but at least denies it from the enemy team. Only one kill 
advantage, two kill advantage in favor of play to improve now. Yeah, and we're heading into the last five frags for play to improve. It's a very, very quick match. Um, we're only within 10 minutes here, so um, it's down to four. We'll, see, we'll probably see the end of this quite soon. If, yes. not, if not for one team and then the other, it's only two frag difference. Yeah, you know, play to improve has only been at a plus two frag advantage for, I mean, the majority of the game they've been there. So, like, if they can just, just keep holding on, like, all they need to do is just hold on, keep doing what they're doing, don't play I mean, outside the means, and they now. should have this A-OK. -okay. And quad is picked up by Maestro. Let's see if they can turn it around. And this is exactly what Maestro needs to try to come back in. They're going to try to get a big quad run here. I mean, this is it, man. <laughs> this, this is it. Is it. All right, you think he saw a glitch, pushing so he's armor. pushing. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, he's jumping down on that teleporter. Not a whole lot of do there. Gets and two. there we go. And we're perfect now within one frag. Yeah, perfect position oh, for Silence. They're going to meet again here. There. He's coming through. Tries to catch him off guard with the gaunt, but now we're tied. Hey, good try from Lifts. I mean, you just got to take the damage at that point. He's already consigned to that where he was. I mean, he's kicking in 75 damage. is the best he could possibly have done. We do have no abilities up for play to improve. Both are available for Maestro. Maestro is on the cusp of victory here. Finally improving run it back. their play, able to run this back, man. Only one more frag to go from them. All right, so we get a dual wield and yeah, we're tied. Let's start with that dual wield. We're even up here. No. This is oh. for all the marbles. 49 to 49. He knows he's got to back off and there he can't do it. That's we super, go. Play that's super to improve. Getting Takes that machine gun finish. First map. It was looking rough for him for a second there. It was close. It was a close, was a close game. Um, I think one thing that was really interesting to me, like I said, Saran really held on to that beaker. Yeah. Um, he, I, I feel like he could have used that a little bit more. Yeah. Even just to get intel, because you're not playing with a visor. So um, when if you're if you're facing another visor, you've at least got to try and get some sort of intel. Yeah. To um, balance that out. Yeah. Um, but I mean. And he, you, you can even do damage, you know, at, without putting yourself at risk for, for losing a frag as well. And I think, um, but we just have to see what happens next. Yeah, we'll see if we're going to stick with that peaker pick on our next map here. We're moving on to Awoken, I Awoken believe. coming up next. Right, so yes. this is another map where Strog and Peaker do pretty okay. Mm -hmm. pretty there are a lot of spots to hide. Yeah. Um, so if you do want to um, use peaker in, in that sense of surveying or damage or both, um, you can you can do so with uh, very little risk, which is yeah, nice. Absolutely. Down by shotgun, up by mega. Now, ooh, we see a keel coming up here. I'm curious if we're going to see a keel on this map. Very small quarters here. It's going to be great for that one-two punch of rocket launcher into oh, a pop-up and, and, and a tribal and a frag grenade. Oh yeah. Grenades and tribal, I've found, have been a really fun and deadly combination. Just yeah. don't walk over. Yeah. Like, don't do it when you're plus forwarding. But yeah, maybe. tribal on this map is especially deadly because you have th these perfect ranges where if you're standing at rocket launcher and shooting up to the middle of T, which is kind of the connecting point the overlooking the entire map, you'll hear us calling that out during the actual game if you're new to this map. Uh, tribal to that perfect range where if you're on either side of T, if you're either at the Mega Health or the Rocket Launcher, you can shoot straight up there with the Tribal. You're going to airburst those those grenades. And it's really hard for a Railgun to contest you there if you're pre-firing appropriately with that Tribal. But again, we do have the Railgun coming out here. So our styles of play from both teams are likely going to shift dramatically around that Railgun. Yep, we'll just have to wait and see what happens as we head into Awoken. Um, I think going back to that Tribal point, um, it's so good for, for fighting someone higher up against you, um, which wasn't always the case. So um, got about five seconds here. We're going to get started. There we go. So we are seeing Keel coming out of Maestro. I'm very excited for Keel, one of my favorite champions. Once again, BJ on both sides. He's just so invaluable. Ooh, and a quick little rocket cheeky there. rocket from Tron. And Tron being very patient with the dual wielding rockets, not just holding left click down. He kind of delayed that second one for just a second, and he got the perfect hit because of it. You got to make him count. You don't want to just fire your rockets off willy-nilly. <laughs> we see Zran here taking over the rocket launcher spawn, trying to get whatever position he can over T. But play to improve. He's controlling that area so far. Right, looks like Zran's going to pick, pick up, up that heavy. heavy armor. Yeah, perfect. And he's keeping an eye out to see if comes, someone's coming over from Mega, but it looks like they're uh, going across round, the, round down uh, to LG. And Maestro in a commanding lead here playing from the power-up spawn. This is usually where I see a lot a lot of teams just start to hold those commanding leads in this map. It's usually from there or from T. It always seems to vary based on the team and their personal preferences. <laughs> that scream we love so much. 
Good old BJ. All right. That tribal. That tribal. Yeah, Maestro here still running as a commanding lead over top of late to improve. All right, now we're looking at Silent Tep. He's going to grab that rail, and he's going to try and see if he can find anybody up here at T. He's got the visor, and in comes reinforcements. But oh, yeah, eat that pineapple, yeah. your daily dose of fruit. Daily dose of fruit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of those, like, vitamins. And hey, man, nine in, nine in ten doctors agree. Pineapple a day. But, but what about a pineapple? Oh, and he goes of off the map, but at least gets the frag on the way out. Nice little fade away. Yeah, Maestro here. Absolutely dominating this map. Plus eight kills already. Not even two minutes into the match here. Got Zran. Got Keel. Yeah, we're getting ready for Controlling rail here. We're just catching here. them out of position over and over. I mean, Bus Driver does manage to get the one. Wow, he manages to take down both. Yeah, he's only got 25 Maestro. health, though, so just he a, needs oh, backup. Yeah, they just poor positioning from them, and they lose the quad damage because of it. This is exactly what Playboy Improved needs to try to get back into this match. we got the Super Shotgun right, run with the quad damage points. here. He's, he's one. falling on health here, and yeah. And that Pineapple will be his undoing. Yeah, but Silence here, slowest champion in the game. Got quad, but man, is he looking weak. He does manage to get that finger right on spawn, though, so there we go. He's looking a lot happier. Happier, healthier now. Can he push this advantage? Those tribals are coming right on that teleporter exit. I mean, what what can he do? I mean, he can get the free kills, but he can't push. I thoroughly enjoy quad super shotgun. It's just packs such a punch. It's really great for you know for people with aim like yep, ours. Heavy you know, is up. You can't rely on that LG. You got that super shotgun with the quad. It's, uh, it's really All right. Bus driver here again is pushing his way through Maestro. One thing that I think is really interesting, we haven't seen many fights over at, at Lightning Gun, um, which is unique because both BJs would want that weapon. And uh, Yeah, but yeah, that is actually a really good of, point. All of With these fights are happening over by Power Up, over by Heavy, uh, maybe a little bit by Mega, but we've completely neglected that other side of the map. Yeah. Ooh, that is a very nice shot coming out from Zron there. Th then I'm getting a frag with that. Those fast, event, those fast reflexes on that, uh, that railgun shot here. But yeah, that is a really good point you brought up just a moment ago about the lightning gun. I mean, both teams are going to value this so much, both running a VJ, but there's no fights breaking out over it. Yeah. Both teams are just allowing the other ones to grab it for free. And I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the fact that now that they've got rail, they're able to sort of counter it a little bit better by sure. keeping it at, at a distance, just like that. There we go. Nice little combo kill coming out of Zeron there. Getting revenge. All right, Mega's up in ten, so um, we're gonna we're gonna fight for the heavy first. Got one, got two, <laughs> almost two. Um, now that Mega's up, it's been taken. Yeah, Zeron here just 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 fighting tooth and nail to control this power up. He's looking low on health, but finally, Keel arrives. Can Keel save the day for Maestro? Now, power up is one of my but favorite no, spots on the map here. to launch people off of. You can sort of bounce people right off the back, or you can just frag them straight up. Yeah, rocket launcher is very dangerous on the outskirts of the map. It's almost completely open along the outside. One, one, this male place rocket, man, you are out of there. Liz with the rocket jumps, chasing down. He Ron had that heavy, he, he had that prod. Using that protection and still just going ham with those rockets man. getting in there. I That's exactly what you got to do. You got the protection, yeah. you got a big stack. Oh, you gotta push him down, man. Getting that height advantage with that rocket jump right there at Heavy. He still can't secure the frag on Keel, though. And now he knows exactly where he is, so he'll relay that to his teammate and takes him down. Here we go. Now. Ooh, Maestro taking a fat rocket uh, rocket explosion there. 100 damage on one, about 70 something on the other. Not what you want to see coming right off the spawn there. Play to improve as well. Improving their play. Exactly. They've been down by eight all match. Almost tied it up at this point in time. Silence doing everything oh, he can man. to hold this doorway. And oh my can god, the way to improve is melting to this lightning gun and all the pineapples, man. That is not what you want to do Keel on these tight quarters. The They're playing right into Keel's hand. It's there, but can't seem to hit the rail. Yeah, we do have a power up coming up in about 45 seconds, being the quad damage. Meister's doing everything they can just to hold that area early. It's a couple of maps in this game where you want to really control Ooh, that major item, that, that major power-up spawn as soon as you can. And uh, Awoken is one of them, man. It is one of them. You get that railgun control, you get that power-up control, you have an utter dominance over the rest of the map. You can go pretty much anywhere quickly, and it's really hard to judge. Oh. Where people are gonna come from and get you. I love those sort of like sneaky little, let's walk around the corner, see what we can find, and then it's immediately like panic. Panic mode. Yeah. 
And we've got 10 seconds to this yeah, quad. Is Ron here still just holding that quad damage? He does not want to let go of quad. He's going to do anything he can just to hold that. Does not have the dual LGs, though, but the double nails are going to give some great control over that bottom. Ooh. Ooh. Comes out with that rail right nice at the end. crispy rail here. He the quad He's weak, starter, though. Shotgun. Ooh. Right. Yeah, he's going to be waiting for that heavy armor most likely here, so getting whatever damage he can. Correct. And there At we go, finally getting the support from his keel, finally feeling, feeling safe. Even if he were to fall, there kills right behind him. Yep, that communication, getting that heavy armor perfect. Now we have these mega armor, I'm sorry, mega health and heavy armor split up. Oh my goodness. Zeran, this quad run. You're not even running, you barely even started moving. You're already at what? A good four or five percent. And there's another. There Excellent. There is a power up master. That is our five frags and one power up. Very well played by Zeran. Playing the positioning game, playing the slow game, doing what he needs to do to win and nothing more than that. And it is really paying off for Maestro. Plus 10 frags. Wow. Play to improve. And you were just saying a minute ago that they were tied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, they've been plus eight all game. Play to improve. Managed to secure a little bit of better positioning. They managed to catch up, but Maestro just doubled down on that slow Laskowitz play, man. We're and seeing, it paid off. We're seeing both uh, major items now are about a second apart, so um, we might have to see a split. Um, bus driver retreating back to LG, maybe going to head over to that heavy. There we He'll go. Take bus down. driver. He'll take down Silence up rather quickly. He must have just heard that heavy, but I'm not sure because he's up and he's letting his teammate have it. Yep, play to improve, getting control of that heavy armor. And those items, they were split up. They were down by 15 seconds each, but they have been delayed. We're back from that equal timing here. We're on an equal footing. And that's exactly where Maestro wants to be. They've been doing very well on this equal on this equal footing of power-ups, but just controlling the map better. They have not been trying to do that really fast, aggressive play style that you might see out of a team like Liquid, where they're trying to cycle those items and just keep constant control, constantly keep them off your feet. Maestro playing slower, more control, trying to keep this all within their realm, okay. and it's working well. Bus Driver just spent quite a min quite a decent amount of time over at that Mega waiting for it to spawn rather than trying to hunt for health oh, elsewhere. Um, a little aggressive there, the trying to make something happen on that protection. does not quite work, but see what he was going for, man. That would, yeah. that, I would have made the same choice in that decision. Or that same decision in that situation. That's exactly what you need to do, man. Yeah, but one thing that you need to remember is when you're heading into those fights, um, you need more than health. You want some armor, too, and I think that... that waiting around and just hoping for Mega to spawn. He could have, may, might have picked up a light armor in that. Oh, time. Silence, can you finish him off? Oh, and oh okay, there we go. So. That was looking rough there. He left that, that BJ, just one H, or was it a visor? I couldn't even tell. This one, just one HP, does not <laughs> even managed to finish him Whatever, off. they both Very died. It was yeah. <laughs> it's medium champions, man. They're all the same. <laughs> yeah, medium champions really seem to be the dominant sort of class, if you could call it that, in this game. Um, they have really decent movement, their stacks are very solid, and so you see, that's why you see BJ being so strong, um, especially since his, his movement has improved Ooh, quite Swan. a bit. Crispy rails here, back to back, maintaining control of his favorite spot on the map, getting his free heavy armor. In a demand dominating We've seen a lot of rails come out of that spot down below, up that lift to Mega. Um, on both sides, and uh, I'm wondering if, if either team is going to learn to uh, maybe not go up that lift quite so often. There we go. Zoran and we got a two. Picking up a couple of tracks. Finally Zoran. fighting over that lighting gun, man. It's been all match. You finally see it happening. But sometimes you just. Lightning gun can't stand up to nails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those point blank dual wield nails are, are really a force to be reckoned with. We have Silence here, taking over control of the power up and again. Three kills on Bus Driver, just controlling that power position on Pineapple, the map here, nails, pushing with his team. And just, there you go. I mean, they're up, what, 16 kills? Caster Math says, I think I'm right. Yes, correct. No, Caster Math is very hard. <laughs> that means one one frag left, and they're taking control of this squad. Yeah, only a 10 minute match. So Very, very well placed from Maestro here. They're going to take it. All Overplay right. to improve. We're at one to one. Yeah, we're heading to a third map. That third map is Ruins. So we've seen Maestro on this second match here slowing things down as much as they possibly can. And now we're going to a much more open map that's even more railgun heavy, even more slow controlling of the map heavy. Short play to improve can move around a lot, but do you think that's going to give them the edge they need, or is this going to maintain in Maestro's favor with just with that slow calculated play style of controlling the one spot they want and just never moving? Um, I, I think because we're seeing a bigger map, um, you know, we're finally getting a chance to spread out a little bit more. Um, I'm hoping to see a visor on both sides, maybe, just because with that 
uh, large span, you need the intel and you need the speed. Um, Lyths obviously has no problem playing um, on visor. We'll have to see what these guys decide on the maestro side of things. Um, but and one one thing to remember when you are playing two visors is is vile control becomes a really big factor, Absolutely. especially on this map when they are prevalent. They are plentiful. Yeah, and they are all over. Um, yeah, this map in particular, a lot of those vials over the map. Each one looking like an hourglass gives you plus ten percent to the cooldown of whatever ability your champion has. You can grab five, six of those in very quick succession on this map. Even more if you have control. You Run your get, route. You, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, yeah. If you get, if you can control the routes here, I mean, champions who have those really long cooldown abilities can start to shine a lot on this map. You know, thinking clutch. I'm thinking visor. I'm thinking may even Galena, even though her ability is not terribly long on cooldown, getting all those hourglasses and just controlling the map with those totems, right. getting that free mega health overheal for both your team members, it's critical. Right, so just to remember, we are not seeing Clutch and we are not seeing Galena. Yeah, so so <laughs> uh, that's where these hourglasses really come into play with champs like, like yeah, Visor. So, so these bands are really coming down to this last map here. Who will we see? Mm -hmm on this final pickup. You do see fast champions like Slash or even Nyx a lot of played a lot more on this map just due to the size. If they can play really far away with railguns, mm -hmm. it's so hard to hit them. Yeah, just pick chip, chip away from a distance. Um, you can see uh, you can, uh, with the light champions, they are faster as well. So when you're trying to get across the map to either regroup with a teammate or to gain control of, of an area of the map, uh, you, you do like to see fast light champs, especially because they can get away if they want to. Um, All right, my friends, we are loading in for a third and final match of Maestro versus Play to Improve. Score is one to one. We've seen Play to Improve with a BJ and a Visor. Um, doesn't look like they're switching off that kill yeah, no on Maestro. Champion, no champion swaps here. We're going to be seeing the same lineup as last time. Lith's immediately using that that vision to help his teammate uh, sort of call out, you know, where these where his guys are so that he can use that dual wheel, but it doesn't look they got much out of it. So now Maestro takes that first frag. Yeah, Maestro pushing that aggression on that visor caught out of position here. And now we're gonna try to get the finish off the bus driver. There we go. Two to zero, quick lead in favor of Maestro. They know that heavy armor is gonna spawn first. Just that loud noise coming off of it. You can hear it from nearly anywhere on the map it's picked up. It's easy to keep timing on that on this map in particular. And there we go. Now Ron this suicide there, armor. so um, whatever frag he could have he did get he lost immediately. So they're still hanging out at zero there. And now we do see play to improve. They do manage to at least control their mega. They do still have one main item under their control, but bus driver getting caught out of position Melted. on that LG spawn. Zran finally denying that LG from the enemy BJ. And Zran managing to somehow clear off the visor as well. Barely I surviving. I Will can't make those shots. I would suicide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and he's restacking, but still trying to make an effort here. You know someone's at LG, he's coming up. All right, here we have Maestro respawning down an LG in a terrible position. Will he manage to get anything down? No. Play to improve, getting a free frag on that keel. Once you can start getting an LG pin on that keel, it is so hard to fight against it as a keel. I mean, you're, you're not the biggest of the heavy champions, but you're still pretty big. And once you get stuck with that LG, which has that strong pushing force as you're being hit by it, it's really tough to, to get away and to survive. Yeah, that, oh man, that, that starting shotgun, if you catch someone in a hallway, you can do a lot of damage. Top CP. That was the best possible situation you could have been caught in, in a point blank no, fight. No, could have no, get some no. of those pineapples off, but unfortunately ends up missing and falls. Maestro is looking Five very seconds solid to quad. Here. So we're gonna, we're gonna see some sort of contention. Nice oh my rail. goodness, silence that shot. He's just gonna that. let BJ have it, he's too weak on the kill. Yeah, that's a bogus positioning there, but man, it, just, it, it was fine. Yeah. Just so, just such good aim. Right, now Zoran does not have dual wield. He used it to gain control, and now he's really weak. He's Excellent. Keeping his space, though. Doesn't really seem to need the dual wield, and, and even has no LG. He's got rail, he's got rockets. He has some tribal, it'd be nice to see some tribal, quad tribal, but Uses that starting shotgun, point blank, gets the frag. I really like this play by play to improve whenever they are out of control on a quad damage or a protection. There's just so much good stuff coming out of them. They're, all, they're always staying apart, they're always hiding, they're you know walking around, they're hiding behind a corner. I mean, they're playing as slow as possible, trying to extend 
their survivability as much as they can. I mean, if they can't, if they can't get the frags, right. they stay alive. Right. One thing that's really important to think about when you've got power up or you're facing a team that, that was able to pick up power up, you do not want to be caught, both of you, in one spot, especially against a quad, because then you're just feeding frags at that point um, yep. unnecessarily. And especially on a large map like this, you can play hide and seek miles away from each other. Yeah, Maestro controlling more than triple the score of play to improve at this point. That's they are some commanding <laughs> lead of this map here. All right. Sauron knows that the heavy's up. He's going to grab it. He's going to try and push. Yep. And I DJ's meeting at LG. Yeah. It's a love story better than Twilight. I'll tell you that. Zran here. Oh, my God. Okay. That was that was a very <laughs> aggressive. Quite. That was a, an aggressive positioning there. Just I was really scared. Dodged right out life. that teleporter. Okay, here we go again. Oh, Combo kill, right. nice out of the Ma but Maestro's got to be feeling it. themselves right now. They they are in the these wacky positions, rail gunning people from like ten feet away. Right, we're we're powerful. looking towards Prot now, so let's see uh, who's who's. They're using that dual wheel to kind of control, and bus driver gets gets the protection this time around. He's taken a lot of a lot of shredding from that super nail, but still seems to be in good shape. Picks up the mega, and he is on his way. Yeah, this is the best thing the play to improve could have possibly hoped for here. They're getting that protection, getting at least two frags out of it. They have quite a bit of time coming out of protection left here as well. They can get some rocket jumps, get some speed, try to push in a little bit more. Time is ticking, but can they get more than two frags with this power up? They the need end. to take advantage of this. And it doesn't look like they'll get much health. Oh, and I spoke too soon. He, got, he gets one. He's down to two health, though. You know, and that's good enough. Using the protection just to get a little bit more map control and just to establish some dominance in the map. You don't necessarily need to get frags. You can use that power up to give your team the position they need, to give them weapons they need, to just reset the match. That can oftentimes be a better value than getting four frags off the squad. Right. Bus driver going on a little bit of a tear here. He was able to get two frags there. Nice. Maybe get a third? No, it doesn't look like he was able to restack well enough and lost that LG duel. Meister here still in a commanding lead. 12 frags over play to improve. All right, so Only five minutes in, though. We have lots of time left. Yeah, Zeron's looking to restack here a little bit. But he meets his... Well, he meets both of them and can't quite get anything yeah, a, done. A little bit aggressive there, not pushing with his teammate. I mean, I guess he's kind of pushing play to improve he knows off that, of that BJ's heavy armor. Weak. But, oof. He's going to go for it. And they and take it, down both of them. You know, the aggressive play worked out. It was enough of a delay for play to improve to give... Maestro, the advantage they need on getting that uh, getting that heavy armor, and they win a fight, but ends up trading at the end. But quite frankly, at this point in time, Maestro is perfectly happy to take one-to-one -one trades for the rest of the game. Yeah, they've got quite a substantial lead. It doesn't seem like there's much mobility. Um, in, uh, you're 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 sitting at 10, 11, 12 frag lead. Uh, you don't really need to be taking unnecessary fights. Trades are you know trades are fine, but when you're contending for a quad. There we go. Yeah, Zeron is controlling that power up again. The superior positioning coming out of Maestro on this power up. There's just not a whole lot of play to improve could have done right. from the spot they were holding. Now Maestro does not have a visor, so Zeron's sort of working off what his teammate sees, like any other camp would. Uh, no, no wall hacks here. Um, he was able to get a couple off of this, but you know, and you know, Maestro really doesn't need a whole lot off this quad run as long as they're keeping the power up away from the opponent. Get a couple frags off it, cool. Get some map positioning off of it. Throw them off kilter more. Yep. Fine. That's really all they need. You know, getting like a five, six crazy quad run is it's just not necessary at this exactly. point in the game. It's really not. Because then you'd be taking those unnecessarily unnecessary battles. So, able to to continue that rotation of the items. Yeah, Maestro has found their success these last two maps by playing slower, playing safer. You know, just, just controlling that map, getting a couple items. You don't need to control everything. You can give up one of the power-ups, it's fine. Exactly. As long as your positioning is better, as long as you're fighting over those weapons instead. And they're they're capitalizing on that. Yeah, I mean, we're, what we're looking at here, they're up to, they're, they've got a 16 frag lead now. They've extended it from that quad run. So now um, they, they've got the perfect timing on the heavy. Um, Zoran's been sort of cycling that pretty well. Um, looking for that combo kill, can't quite hit it though. Gets yeah. one as he's going through the teleporter though. Yep, Sram's just taking his free damage, no ability available right now. He's getting all the rails he can, just hitting all oh, kinds of damage another, on gets that mega yeah, as a that mega. Yeah, just nice Maestro's tasty. positioning here is top notch. That railgun play is really paying off for them. There we go. He knows, he knows he's weak, he's gonna try and go after him, but can't quite hit that rail. 
15 seconds of protection here. Maestro taking control of that heavy armor. They're going to get right to protection and mega health here momentarily. The bus driver managing to just barely clean up Sran, barely surviving. Will it be enough to secure them some kind of item here? It looks like it might. Yep, he gets that mega. He gets that prod. He's in good shape. Uh, maybe not gets so both much. items, but is it Those worth pineapples, that's is it worth it? Sure, a mega and a protection are nice, but if you're taking sustained fire from two enemies, you're still gonna melt. It's a lot of health, but it's not infinite. You're not, you're not invincible. Especially a little aggressive. With the, the super nail gun tends to do quite a decent amount of damage. I think it's a seven per shot, which is equivalent to an LG. Not quite the same fire rate, but you're still um, doing putting in a decent amount of damage if you don't have a rail or a rocket launcher. And the prot has just retired. We've got ten frags to go on the Maestro side. Um, they look like they're in a really good position to just take this map and call it a day. And as Lips I say, that Lips gets it. Yeah, <laughs> Lips managing to clean up for play to improve here, cleaning up Maestro right on top of that railgun here. And again, Tribolt. We've got to respect the Tribolt. Respect tri the Tribolt. Respect the Tribolt. Give it some space. But is it, but still. They're just so far behind. Yeah, 15 frags. It's kind of hard to come from. We're, once again, we're seeing a really fast-paced match. We're only t less than 10 minutes in, and we're already talking about um, winding down the frag limit. So, Yeah, we're sitting at a solid 15 kills in advantage for Maestro here. Yeah, Silence Up has been doing r real work with that, that starting shotgun. Now, remember that the choke on it is a little bit smaller, so um, you get a little bit more precision out of it. Yeah. Definitely helps if you're trying to just get some decent damage and a quick little shot. Yeah, you know, there are some situations where I actually prefer having a starter shotgun over the super just because of that tighter spread right. and a little faster fire rate. You yeah, can just hit people from longer range for more. It's, yep. it's like a little... A little boop, little, yeah. little tap. <laughs> All right, we've got five seconds left before this fun. Looks like Silent Step really trying to send some warning shots saying, hey, this is mine, don't take it, don't touch it. Please, nope. And he lets his teammate have it. And they both go yeah, down. Here we go. Play to improve, LG. fighting over that LG. Finally, going to get some kind of power up here. Going to get the mega health as well. Bus driver looking for the biggest quad run of his life. Right, what can like he manage to accomplish here? We're nearly one third of the way through the power up already. He's not seen a single vice driver. Finally, picking off silence. Will he find Zran? He he's knows he's him. there, but. Hit him. Yeah, you got to be able to hit him. He gets, he gets the kill in the meantime. It's good enough. And he gets the second one. He's on a spree. Three frags, not the number they're looking for, but we'll certainly take it at this point in time. They have four minutes to go. Will they manage to not die three times and get <laughs> Mega's up. 16 kills? He's going to grab it, and he's going to Yeah, Mega Health being taken in favor. Yeah, they have a play to win, a play to improve. I mean, they're doing everything they can. They're playing everything as perfectly as they can in the last couple of minutes. They're really shaping up. They're really improving that play. They're really controlling the map. But it's three frags it's left for Maestro. It's going to be enough. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just too little too late. Yeah, he got popped up by that rocket there right into a combo kill. And it's one one frag and, yeah. and, and Drawing Maestro your styling with that dual wheel with LG here. Going to have control over that heavy armor. And there we go. Yeah. This is our final score. Two to one. Maestro's moving on. Favorite They've Maestro, yeah. survived out of qualifiers. Um, so one thing that really stood out to me was Maestro, especially Zeron, really had commanding control over that heavy armor. Yeah. And um, they sort of let Mega go, which is fine. But I think with we've got, you know, you've got a, a heavy champ such as Keel, but most of the time you're, he's putting that, he's taking that armor on BJ yeah. and then goes off and melts. And we're looking at the, uh, looking at the, the frag split here. Zeron had 29 out of the 50 kills yeah. over. Um, I mean, that, that's what BJ does to people, though. That is what he does to people. You get that dual-wield LG. Oh, man. <laughs> that's rough. Right. So So we do have play to improve. This was the upper bracket quarterfinals, so play to improve just falls to the lower bracket. They are not out yet. Mm -hmm. So look forward to seeing them again later on this evening. Maybe? Maybe. Are we going to finish them tonight? No. no. Wait. Say that are, again? are they going to finish their <laughs> I don't know the rest of the bracket. So, the, so lower quarterfinals are oh, finishing okay. tonight. I'm getting Correct. word from production now. So, yes. yeah, we'll be seeing them again later tonight. Maestro advances. What do you think? Well played. Um, it was a fun, fun series. I really like that it went to three maps. Yeah. Um, I, 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 like Liss and Bus Driver really impressed me. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, they're back. You yeah, know? They're, yeah, their first map was very impressive. It was a very, very 
it, it was it was a slight lead over Maestro the whole time, but man, they are they they held on that entire way through. 